Hello, my name is Damian Christian. I'm with the Men's Health Network, and with me I have Duane Pearson. So, Duane, what are your thoughts on HR 5795? Well, well, we think HR 5795 is a vital piece of the opioid um, packages moving forward in the House. Um, we're looking forward to the second week of June, where in which um, we thank Mr. C Congressman Mark Wayne Mullen and Congressman Earl Blumenauer for putting this bill in place. Um, it recently passed out of the Energy and Commerce Committee on a bipartisan vote. And the importance of this bill is really is that, unlike other bills, where in which how they're impacting, this one is hits to the crux of the opioid crisis because it's vital to patient safety and care coordination. What it would do is it would amend an old, an old privacy law known as 42 CFR Part 2. And w the reason we need to amend it is as we move into the 21st century of healthcare delivery, um, medical records are going in an electronic fashion. And the best way for the, the doctors to see the medical record and to coordinate care for patients and to see the full scope of the patient's needs is through that electronic record. And currently the doctors can't see the records for addiction. And so it's presenting tr problems for us as the patients present over and over in the emergency department. Our, our physicians, our, our doctors, our nurses, they can't do the warm handoffs back into the community to get them into treatment services because the patient fully controls the medical record under part two. So they determine who can see it, when they can see it, and how many people can see it. So it presents many challenges for us. Also part two is inhibiting the state's ability to fight um, the opioid crisis because the federal government's not able to share public health data on the opioid crisis with the state. So in many ways, it's, it's stopping the ability to fight the, cri the opioid crisis back home. And so we need to make this change. We need to align with what is known as 42 CFR Part 2 or Part 2 um, with HIPAA so we can start seeing the full medical record like we do for every other disease, disease whether it's HIV AIDS, um, STDs, hep hepatitis C, cancer, diabetes, whatever the conditions are, we need it for true care coordination and to help the patient ultimately get to the service and treatment they need to get off of this, uh, this terrible addiction crisis. Thank you so much.